Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. You know, like, and it's crazy. I went out for a shoot, mm -hmm. and then, um, so when you tested me, I was running late. So I didn't want to go with a car. You know, I don't want to take my long. So I, I know I'll need your keys. Like, whoa, a lot of New York is crazy. Yeah. Very, very crazy. So I don't want to go with a car. So I went with a bike. So I will come back and, yeah. But I mean, it's still the same. I'm still here. But yeah, we still. And the then today, today we have a meeting. Like, we have a title of like meeting. My boys, mm -hmm. my boys be calling me right now, bro. Like, they, they keep testing me and all of that. You see that? Like, they keep testing me. They be like, bro, where you are? I told them that, yo, I, I have a little shit going I on. I appreciate your time. I appreciate your time. Yeah. And I'll be very quick with the, you know, with the recording and the podcast. I just... Right, no problem, you know. I just, just have a full question. Let's have conversation. I know you're a snake eye too. I've mm -hmm. seen your post. So that was the main reason I brought you on. Okay. You like Ghana, Nigeria. You're my brother. I mean, you're you're your world. World. I'm Yoruba too. You already know. I'm Yoruba. My dad yeah. is from Nigeria, so that's why I have that name, Omo Naija. Um, yeah, Omo Naija. You know, that's why I have that type of name. Actually, when I was in, because my first home is Lagos, Nigeria. My second home is Maryland. And my third home is like New York. So yeah. I was born and raised in Nigeria also. So right from the get-go, that was what they used to call me, Omo Naija, because my mom, she's an, she's a Naija. Right? Yeah. So they used to call me. Oh, man, so you to you, you know, man. I crazy. just don't, I don't the know same name. that name. But like yeah, well. in the community and all that, that's what they call me. Oh my Lajah, oh my Lajah, oh my Lajah. That's what they call me. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so that's well, about then, it. Um, so where are you from? Like where do you stay? Right now I'm in Maryland. Oh, Maryland? I'm in Baltimore, Maryland, yeah. I'll be coming to New York back and forth because I'll be going to New York to ship out stuff and all that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because New York, you know, New York be fast with everything. Yeah, like I was supposed to be in Maryland today for um, for the DeVito show. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was supposed to go, but I was like, nah, I'm not really trying to go. He's in yeah. D.C., though. Yeah, yeah, he's in D.C. So I was supposed to be in um in Washington today. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, we have one or two stops going on today. Like, I'm really busy. I just came back from... From the shoots and i'm on the meeting right now you're and on the ground this, bro i will you're have to grind. go back man it's crazy you're on the ground so let me let's just do the introduction we really like introducing yourself like what you're about how the sneaker started for you and i will know how to carry on from there okay all right so um my name is maruf, maruf. and then i'm from ghana that's my real name and then um you say you're from ghana right yeah i'm from ghana but you say is it your mom or your dad that is nigerian okay all right so this is the thing my mom's is from ghana and my okay. dad is from nigeria so my dad is is our first generation in in um in what you call it in um in ghana so okay so your dad is literally from ghana yeah nah my mom is from ghana my dad is from nigeria okay yeah, my dad is from Abekuta, but he have oh, oh, oh my mom is from Abekuta too, Ogun State. Damn, yeah, well, it's crazy. Yeah. So my but yeah, that's where my dad is from. But he have he have his his um his buildings in um in Sangwater. So I know Sangwater. When I was in Ghana, I used to go there. Yeah. Actually, that that was around the place my mom got a home building too. Yeah. around that uh Ijai side. All right, I think this one, Mars, I don't really remember, but what I know. I think uh, they said um the area is um is like under like, bridge or something that's like the border it. of Ogun State and um Lagos State. Yeah. It's not far from each other. Yes, yeah, yeah, so yeah, there's yeah, like yeah, trying right. to hone like Lagos State want to hone it, but Ogun State don't want to let it go. So yeah. that conflict between them. But yeah. yeah, like you said, so you are literally from Nigeria, but you spend most of your time in Ghana. Yeah, I mean I was born in Ghana. Oh, you, yeah, you literally Ghana. Yeah, I was born in Ghana. I never stayed in Nigeria for my long. Okay. I just used to go to Nigeria for um for meetings. Okay. Or maybe I go to Nigeria to buy to buy stuff. You know, my dad is my dad is a businessman. Mm -hmm. So when I start growing up, you know, when I finish my school, I would, I mean I used to go to the store with him. So you know he has his own business. So he was like, oh, so now you're done with the school. You just be sitting home doing nothing, 
just buying sneakers, buying clothes, going in and out, doing nothing. You feel me? You're like, oh, oh, you're not about to do that. I mean, you already know how Nigerian parents are. I feel, I feel you. Like, you have to be responsible. You gotta got something going for yourself. Yeah. So that was done. So that was how everything started. And you was like, now you gotta go to Nigeria to go get some stuff. So that's how. A lot of times I go to Nigeria. Sometimes it's buildings when they got a little problem. You know, I go there. You know, I mean, I, I don't really do much there, but I just show up just for them to feel like, oh, oh he's God, here. Food is here. You know, you know, you know how people are and shit. I feel so, that. Yeah, I just show up for them to, to realize that, oh, my dad's kid is there. And then sometimes we, we go to Nigeria to buy stuffs. Yeah, we go to Nigeria to buy stuffs. All right, cool, cool. Like you said, you said your name is Maruf, right? My or Maruf. 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 Okay. Yeah, I used, Maruf all right. So I like Maruf. Yeah. Is so Maruf and Maruf. Is it is it the same or is it just the pronunciation that's different? All right. So the thing is, is the Yoruba people that say Maruf. Maruf that's how my dad yeah. Because I'm Yoruba. Yeah. yeah. My dad call me Maruf, but as a Muslim name, it's not it's Maruf. Maruf. Okay. My Islamic name is Mubarak. Oh, Mubarak. Whoa, yeah. damn, you got a nice name, man. I have, I have a lot of, yeah, I have I have one friend here in New York. His name is Kim Mubarak. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I really like him. Yeah, that's, I don't know if you usually see my videos on Instagram. Yeah, I've been yeah, using yeah. his at all. Like, yeah, he, he man, he his recitation is very good. So yeah. I usually use, use his recitation on my um, on my Instagram. All right, cool. I mean, that, that was about that. So, how, like you said, you said you were home buying sneakers and all that. So when do you notice the love for like um, what I'm call it for fashion? Because people might not know you have your home brand, right? Mm -hmm. That you promoting. Yeah, I'm rocking there. my brand right now. Yeah, yeah I can see that one is fire, bro. Yeah, I'm rocking fire, my entire flex. It's, it's fire. It's fire. Yeah. I love. I love that logo. So uh -huh. like you having you born in Ghana and having the Nigeria blood in you uh -huh. and coming to New York. Yeah. What was the experience like combining everything together with your love for fashion and sneakers? Like when did this sneakers journey started for you? Like, oh, I think that you think I oh now I think I'm a sneakerhead. Yeah. All right. So um first of all, it started everything started back home. So I don't usually talk and I don't like, you know what I mean? Like I just yeah, try to be on my own shit and all of that. Mm -hmm. But all right, so a lot of people don't know me. People that know me from home know me. A lot of people just saw me here and then they think, oh, maybe he just started this from this country. Mm -hmm. No, anybody that knows me, knows me. I have a brother, his name is Osman, his name is DC. So we started this together since we was home. My mom's, my mom is this type of, like, this type of people. So that's how I had that name. Like, oh, you know, like, you're in the town. We want people to know that we exist. You know what I mean? So my mm -hmm. mom, and then I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm my mom's only, um, um, only son. Only son. So we, I have two sisters. So it's just me, I'm a boy. So my mom's always trying to keep me on the point. Any sneaker that comes in, my mom get it for me get since it. I was a kid. I know that shit. That shit is not original, though. You know, you know, you know what I mean. Like that shit is not original. I it's mean, crazy. It's crazy mom. that I have the same story. Is actually that mom is my mom that made me a sneakerhead too. Really? Yeah. It's hey, my mom. Cause oh. my mom. My mom. She, like she's a businesswoman. Like she sells yeah. like little baby uh okay. stuff. Yeah. Like oh, she can get all those stuff, all the necessary stuff for marital and all, all that. So. Right from the get go, she used to go to Ireland, like Ikoi, all those part mm -hmm. and all that. And she would just go and she would just come back with like a Timberland, you yeah. know. Because we love boot a lot, you know, the Nigerian weather and all that. Yeah. So yeah. most times it's like Timberland, all those high top shoes. Yeah. And when my sister went to the UK, she started sending me like shoes. And yeah. I used to have like uncle, aunties here, out here in America. Mm -hmm. But I used to get Jordans when I was very, very young, like very, very young. I, didn't even, I can't even pronounce my name then when I was very, very young. Nah, so I didn't sorry. know it was Jordan. So when I was growing up, then yeah. I started seeing pictures, you know, I was like, oh, this is Jordan, you know, stuff yeah. like that. So yeah, like it, it, it's I mean, my mom that made me like, okay, yeah, me too. So, when I was growing up, 
it's all about my moms you know my mom's always trying to put me on shout, shout out to shout out to every yeah. woman out there yeah shout out mm -hmm. to every woman shout out to ig asana shout out to, shout shout out out to, to her a lot like i always thank her sometimes i'll be on the phone she's now here with me my mom's is, she's back home in ghana so when i'm on the phone with her i'll be like moms thank you she'd be like why 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 you keep saying thank you all every day i'm like yeah, my mom is back home too she, she's back home in nigeria you know what I mean? too. like yeah. like yo like she made me what i'm right now but like my mom's made me what i'm what i'm on right now she made me so that's how everything started and then when i grew up she showed me i have i have a lot of a lot of my pictures that i have sneakers on that they're like my partners don't even get that type of sneakers so that's how I grew up. I have a lot of my pictures is having different sneakers on and all of that. So that's how I grew up. And then my dad, you know, you know how my parents are. My dad be like, oh, no, you spoiling him. You spoiling him and all of that. You know, so it's crazy. So that's how everything started. And then um, then when I grew up, so in Ghana, I went to school in Ghana. We call, we call it primary school. So since I was in the primary school, my mom's used to take me. She used to take me to um to a B2K so go get her sneakers and everything. But as I was growing up, and then yeah, I got to JHS. That's how we call it back home in Ghana, JHS Junior Secondary School. So when I started that, um, since I started Form One, so when we started Form One, we have this awards that we usually do. So when I came to the school, I saw I saw my seniors doing it. So like when you when you got to the third year that you about to finish the school so that's that's the time that you want to take um like like a lot of people do do the die war so when we came in i was seeing this was doing it when they was going out of the school so you know that was the time i saw they was giving these people um like the best dancer like designer they're giving the mm -hmm. sneaker head they're giving this this that in the school so after that when they went out and then I came, so people started giving me this name since I was in, in JHS1, like my first year in school. So people started giving me that name that, oh, man, I did think this boy is going to be the sneakerhead. So my teachers, my, my, my teachers always get mad at me because when I'm coming to school, I don't care. They want everybody to put on black sneakers. Bro, I don't wear black sneakers. I wear something different. Me too. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I wear something different. And then they'd be like, bro what's up with you like nah you're supposed to put on black sneakers and then they're going to seize my sneakers and i'm going to walk like that back yeah, to my this job. Is Griffin, oh, I know I'm, that, bro it's crazy like i'm a right. i'm a work i'm gonna I'm just walk with no shoes i'm gonna mm -hmm. work with my my uh, my socks back to my dad's business and i'm gonna go tell him that all right this is what happened and then he's just gonna be like oh maybe my brother should go with me so i could get it back so man that's how i started and then since i was in the school and it's crazy these teachers was really going hard on me because i don't i don't want to wear black sneakers. i think it happens like, to everybody that look, that look fly sorry to cut you off it happens yeah. to everybody that look fly in the school uh -huh. like, if, you, if you look fly and the ladies yeah. just like you the, the teachers be on you like you know stuff yeah. like that but i have a quick question to ask you all right i don't know the system in ghana but you you you, you mentioned something like you were in gss1 right or yeah, gs1 secondary school junior secondary school i think it's the same format because i remember when i went to my secondary school years i went mm -hmm. to this school called nana Apori. i don't nana know Apori. yeah it's like a ghanaian school in nigeria i mean that yeah that name nana is, yeah it's called nana Apori. so it, it's like like you said a lot of people out here might not know oh, what gss1 is is literally high school is like and gss1 is like you getting into high school yeah that was yeah. the first year yeah it's like you get in you get into high school so probably um i think yeah, it's like a middle school right yeah yeah it's yeah, like a middle, a, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a middle school out here yeah yeah true 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 because after yeah. that gss1 you got two three then you go to let's high say school. that ss1 is high school right yeah yeah literally, literally. Like school, then you just do three years there before you go to college okay cool cool so like i know you're not like into the sneaker community like that but you're a sneakerhead. like do you follow news or do you check for like go to con conventions like sneaker convention and all that or you just so in tune with the fashion world all right so um this is the thing 
now I've been a little bit loose on my sneakers right now. Because I have I have my brand going on right now. So mm -hmm. I don't want to focus more on sneakers. sneakers. So that's why like right now I'm following sneakers, the memes and everything. You know, I usually I watch every sneaker that comes on. I look at it, mm -hmm. I put the notification on my phone. I get it. Sometimes I get it, I don't worry. Bro, mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie, I have a lot of sneakers that I just bought it. I know that I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put it. Are nice. I just want to sell it. Mm -hmm. So I'm a little bit loose right now, but it's still good. Like I'm I still have have some couple of sneakers. I mean, right now I'm not gonna call myself a sneakerhead right now. I don't I'm, call myself sneakerhead yeah. too. No, I don't. Yeah. I, but a lot of people be like, once you like sneakers, you're a sneakerhead. No, no, that's sneakerhead not, too. Yeah. To be a sneakerhead takes a lot because a sneakerhead be getting all drops. They don't Everything. skip anything. But me, I Everything. skip a lot, and I yeah, don't. Even, I don't like. I don't like a lot of shoes that people wear. That's why I try to be different. You know, yeah, I try I to make myself too, different as much as possible. Too, and bro. the main reason I ask the difference is fashion. Yeah, it's fashion. You got to, you got to, yeah. The main reason I ask that question is that you're into fashion and I see you have your home brand, which you're, yeah. you, which you're putting on right now. So yeah. now you say you're from Ghana, you were born in Ghana, but your dad is from Nigeria. So yeah. how are you seeing Afro be trying now, right? Because I won't lie to you, this is like, I'm frustrated with it. By the end of the day, there's nothing I can do than, you know, talk about it that's yeah. the thing i can do so okay. that's the main reason for me sending the podcast in the first place because right. we have someone like jordan right jordan is 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 a basketballer right he's like mm -hmm. iconic everybody knows him like everybody want to wear anything that has name on it right mm -hmm. before jordan came we mm -hmm. had adidas with the run dmc right that mm -hmm. the main superstar so fly yeah. and all that and they push the that's, info and yeah. all that right I so after like that crazy. phase yeah. we before that phase we had the puma yeah we that, have puma. Which, like street dancer used to dance with yeah, it yeah then. Oh, we have adidas then um, adidas came. We have vance vance yeah vance is like vance is like a staple then yeah. then we have then jordan just took over the old culture right like took over jordan took a, but right now we are in a phase like a lot of Jordan's shoes are sitting. Like you said, you have some shoes you want to sell. If we probably get some Jordans right now, if you want to sell them, you probably won't make, you know, a lot of money on it yeah. right now because the sneaker, the sneaker stock right now is bad. bad. Yeah, yeah, it's bad. So yeah. I just think you have a brand, right? You have yeah. a brand and Nike... All these brand be working with another brand if you want to pick like a brand to work with in the sneaker industry mm -hmm. just 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 to make just to put africa on the map because now i'm going to call you a, a global citizen i don't uh -huh. want to use nigeria or ghana no more let's uh -huh. just use africa yeah, let's, use that. Uh -huh. let's use what they call us here because any anyway, once, we, once we speak and they hear our accent as an as uh as in nigeria or ghana they don't call us nigeria they just call us african is african yeah, sure. you feel me so mm -hmm. Let's just use like Africa, right? The sneaker culture right now in Africa, the only person that I can say is pushing the envelope to me is mm -hmm. South Africa because they'll, they'll be the one getting the releases and all that. But I don't know if Ghana be getting releases. I don't know if Nigeria be getting releases also. Mm -hmm. things, might, things might have changed. But uh -huh. that's not what I want to talk about. What I want to talk about right now is Afrobeat is hot. Yeah. It can't be ignored. Mm -hmm. sure. Why do you think this brand are not looking that way when it comes to sneaker you know culture because right now the only the only means they can use to introduce all these young africans or all these sneakers in africa yeah. to this to, to the culture yeah. afrobeat that's what i think i don't know if there's another means but no. afrobeat is the yeah, afrobeat is what is hot right now sure and in order to use that they have to go through brands that originated from you know yeah. those country that's yeah. when people like you come in you know you get what i'm saying yeah, like sure. if you want to if you want to collab with if a brand if you if you wish to collab with any brand right now what brand is it going to be like that's going to see your vision better all right so 
All right, so this question, right? <laughs> yeah, that's a big question. And and <laughs> and I, I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna add a plus. Like, which Afrobeat artist would you like to work with with the brand? Okay. All right. So, yeah, first of all, thanks for giving me this type of opportunity to talk about sneakers. So, um, when you said this, I have I have a little question to ask about. True. You can ask any question. So like um to work with about sneakers or to work with about fashion to work with about a sneaker like an artist having his own sneak signature shoes because no one can tell a better story than someone from africa yeah, you know i was so someone that live in america and don't understand the struggle we went through in africa don't understand anything don't yeah. understand that you go to g you know other stuff yeah. so the only person that can resonate better is someone that actually stays in Africa, lives in Africa, and eventually probably came up here to work with, to okay. create a signature. Because no Afrobeat artists have their own signature shoe right now. Yeah. Afrobeat is hot. We can't deny that. Let me see. No, the only I person that have it, I can say David Doe, but that's not like a sneaky. Puma, yeah. come on. Puma, I mean, you get what I'm saying? that's puma but it's not even like a sneak signature shoe like the yeah, shoe I mean, doesn't scream david doe yeah like they just put him on like it's just like for everyone they put the down on yeah exactly on. You know, there's not that's why i like nike yeah, for you. If, nike, if nike want to work with anybody they'll, they'll they're gonna tell the story yeah you get what i'm saying they're gonna they're gonna tell the story and like soccer right now you see what they're doing with jtips they're telling stories so if you like forget about oh design and all that like storytelling with the with an afrobeat artist to set up a signature shoe yeah. what how will you go about it um all right let me see so i'll pick up um i'll pick nike okay the reason why i pick nike is nike have a lot of colorways that relates to we africans okay that's the first thing that i'm i'm gonna pick about nike because i don't like they have a lot of you know my colorways that i, I don't like saying. you know what i mean they have a it's lot like of shit that i don't like but the ones that i like you know what i mean like yeah they have a lot of a lot of colorways that represent africa yeah so for I'm instance nike. okay for instance the recent one they just dropped they call it vibration of ninja the edge of the one is like a craft edge of the one it doesn't scream anything nigerian it doesn't scream anything africa you know it just have that name you just have that name you know so you say you're gonna pick nike right that's done and who who's the what i'm gonna call it the artist because like, i'm gonna give you some tips what yeah. i'm gonna give you whiskey already signed with nike back then he left Nike and went to Puma. Still no signature shoe. I so, don't know. So I yeah, you know what? Like for Whiskey, I'm not gonna put Whiskey in. Okay. The reason why I'm not gonna put Whiskey in is we're talking about sneakers right now, and mm -hmm. Whiskey is not about sneakers right he's now. He's not a sneaker yet. Yeah. He's not. He's not. He just wears white Air Force and his luxury he shoes. Just, he just put on whatever he wants, and I respect that. Mm -hmm. And then that's that's his style. I mm -hmm. follow him. I understand. This is mm -hmm. how you want to do it. Saying no one. Who, can, who can you picture so, like? Oh, this Afrobeat artist is more like a sneakerhead. Like, who, like you want to work with? All right. So the thing is, we're talking about African right now. We're talking about Afrobeat like, artists. Okay, yeah. Afrobeat. So I don't know the other side of um like cameroon congo like it doesn't matter people? anywhere anywhere okay like so you yeah. if it yeah yeah so yeah this is the thing like them like anybody like these countries that speak that speak french i don't know any artists from there same yeah but i know few yeah. but i don't know like, them like yeah, yeah i don't i don't usually like the the only one i know i think daddy d or something and then i went to afro nation that's how i knew about it i know i like, know when you came on the stage, people were screaming oh i'm like bro who it is you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like that, yeah, that was the first time Africa I knew. Is, bro, Africa is big, bro. A lot, like, a lot. the influence is, is crazy. Yeah, like we have a lot of influence. So, yeah. um, so based on who I know, right? I'm not gonna say the, um, what you would call it, um, Banner Boy. 
Okay. I'm not going to say Burner Boy because I understand Burner Boy, he's a fashion artist. Mm-hmm. He's doing his own fashion and everything. Yeah, but, but Burner Boy be rocking a lot of Jordans yeah. way before he blew, though. Way yeah. before he blew, Burner Boy be on Jordans a lot. Oh, you know, all right, so yeah, let me tell you this. Do you know that Ghanaians are the one that put Burner Boy on it before Nigerians came to support him well? Well, if you oh. say, okay, if you say yeah. Ghanaian I- put Burner Boy in before Nigeria support him well, right? Yeah, so what will you put South Africa then? I mean, for South African story, I don't know. So Burner Boy, Burner Boy had a little, he had a little issue before he came Yeah, to he, had, he so, went to Ghana, I know. So yeah, when he, he came to Ghana, Shadow we Wallet. brought him down. Mm-hmm. Like, I know, we brought him story. down for him. So all of that time, I seen him rocking sneakers, and then I respect him, but now he's all over fashion, and then he want to, yeah. like, like, yo, he... Benna Boy is rocking something crazy that I want. Like that's double sneakers that I want to. I'm trying to put on right now. Because Jordan is everywhere, bro. That's exactly. the thing. That's why the last time my friend was asking me, bro, why would you take your money out to buy Magella to wear it if you know that Magella is expensive? So this is the thing. People don't wear Magella. My community don't wear my when I wear Magella, a lot of people was just looking at me like, bro, what what is well, that? You need to know, you need to know Africans wear a lot of designer shoes a lot but most of it is like fake yeah you know yeah a africans, lot of this. like we africans don't even wear a lot of like sneaker shoes sneaker shoe like they don't know they don't know like vans they don't they wear vans but they don't see it as something that they can start easily you get what i'm saying yeah so you still haven't answered my question yeah, you still so back, for the hey, back to your question <laughs> um you say okay, whiskey is out right. of the picture, Bonaboy is out of the picture. So we have one artist in Ghana. Okay. His name is Sakodie. Yeah, I know Sakodie. Yeah, Sakodie, he was he was not on the I mean he was tripping at first. Yeah, and I know this it, it's crazy. I call it Sakodi. Nah, you know? his name is Sakodie. Sakodie, I know because yeah, that's how it's supposed to be Sakodi. I, when I was young, when I was listening to his song, I used uh-huh. to call him Sakodi because he was like a yeah. crazy rapper it was like him and casper novice they were is it novice or i don't know but they were going it they were like saturday and whiskey back then doing crazy stuff yeah. he, he was he, he, he was up there so what saturday the only thing i know him for like i won't lie to you is his, right? is his ray band he be like his oh, ray band that yeah. ray band I mean, that, yeah, that like was about yeah, yeah you're that right, right. right. You get what I'm saying? Right, you're right. That was back then. But now, now, now he be changing. Like now I don't follow him like out. that. But yeah, you can tell me. Like why, why, why him though? Well, so you know what? Like, like the the the, the sneaker culture in Africa, right? Like <laughs> the artists, bro. A lot is crazy. Like you can't say, like, man, it's crazy. I don't, I don't even know who to choose. It's tricky, right? Yeah, bro. Like for real, I don't know who to choose. Because the thing is, like, we rock designers and all that. I mean, if, if, um, yeah. So if you want to talk about sneakers right now, I'm not going to add, I'm not going to include designer sneakers. No, designer, no sneakers, designer sneakers. So, no. yeah, our African artists want to rock all of them. Like, almost, all, almost everyone. I want to rock designers. Almost everyone want to rock designer sneakers. But there are, few, there. there are a few that are trying that they'll be mixing it most times. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. For makes let me mixing it. So let me see which African artists without choose, <laughs> right? Without choose. If if you're done, then okay. I'm gonna let I'll, I'll tell you the one I'm gonna choose and for 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 um and the reasons. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um. All right. So you know what? My team. Yeah, my team is here. Let me let me ask them. Maybe maybe the sure, they sure. have some. You go with that, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm cool with that. Yeah, you can. All right. Ask. So I uh, mean, he was asking me about sneakers, right? He said, which African artist would I choose to work with? Let's say, um, so now Nike called his own that signature, old. signature sneaker. Okay, so yeah, let's say Nike just called me right now. That oh, they won't, they want to put me on the sneaker right now. So which African artist would I pick to put him on the sneakers, like to 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 put his signature on the sneaker? Which artist? Banner boy. And hey, my boy said Banner boy. He said, "Burn the boy." You see like how you? Yeah, definitely, I'm not gonna take Banner. Hell no. Yeah, but I'm not gonna take Banner too. I'm gonna take somebody from Ghana. 
Nah, 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 you crazy. Nah, that's not a thing. We're talking about a whole Africa. This is not about Ghana. Yeah, but I said I'm gonna take somebody from Ghana. That's my choice. All right, so who who you gonna pick from so Ghana? You, all right, let me ask you a question. So if you're not gonna take somebody from Ghana, how you gonna build Ghana? I mean, it is not about building Ghana. We're talking no. about no, but let's no, you can pick someone from, from Ghana, Ghana though. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's you don't want to talk about you just don't want to talk about like the African artists, especially like the Ghana artists, like most of the them get it in. So you have to build that. Mm -hmm. So in order for you to do that, you have to take somebody from there and build it. Okay, all right. Maybe yeah. we take we have, all right, we have so listen, of, listen, listen, uh -huh. listen. I, I understand you, right? Uh-huh. So this is the thing he's talking about it, which of the sneakerhead. That's what we're talking about. We're yeah. talking about a sneakerhead. They don't have to be a sneakerhead, though. Oh, Okay, they don't have to be a sneaker. Head. They can because your own mission is to tell the I ain't gonna lie, right? I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna take Blacko. Blacko? Yeah, bro. I'm gonna take Blacko Sharif. I was about to suggest it to you. Yeah, I'm gonna take Blacko Sharif. You think All you right. can tell a better okay. story with Blacko with a sneaker? All right. So the way I took him gonna be like every attitude. Facts. I mean, yeah, yeah, nah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. He's right. he's the face of Africa now. You got all the followers. Yeah, yeah, like he got everything, right? Bro. Man, he's crazy. This question is so crazy. You're going nah, with Black I, Sharif. Then I yeah, it's crazy. So are you going yeah, with Black right. Sharif? Is that is that who you going with? Well, you know what? Yeah, I'm a, don't worry. Let, 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 yeah, I think I'm a, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with the veto. The veto. Yeah, yeah, I will go. I will go with the video right now. David, think about it. Like when you put the video on, the video like the marketing is gonna be up. It's gonna be up, definitely. Akimi, y'all put a little voice Yo, DC, please, bro. So um, you know, I'm a, I'm gonna pick the video because the video, the marketing is gonna be mad. True. Oh, so I will. The video is already with Puma, and they're already working on something. Oh. So what do you think? You think I have to change him? Like someone that doesn't have no endorsement with any sneaker brand, and you see the potential, like this person is gonna put like you already see David O potential right mm -hmm. there, and that's why sneak uh Puma snatch him, right? So mm -hmm. now you have to find someone that you you can tell a better story with that you can, you know, that you know that can push the sneaker okay. culture. All right, so so if that if that's the case, I'm gonna pick black o black sherry reason why i'm gonna pick black sherry is he has been through a lot that we can test us yeah we could use that story to to build up a lot of sneakers and then i could use my to to build up the sneaker but i want to use his but the reason why i want to use it because they have influence yeah like he has been through a lot more than me i ain't gonna lie he has been through a lot more than me and then like I understand his pains and everything like but when he's speaking and then let's say right now when he have a beat he's just gonna split on on the pains that you have right now so i'm gonna go with him okay that's I'm not, gonna a, bad choice. That's mm -hmm. not a bad choice yeah thanks for yeah. answering the question so, yeah, who are you gonna go with i'm gonna go with two people because okay. i don't want to discriminate and i don't want to you know so i'm going with a female and a male okay so because the reason why i'm picking these two people is because first they're young and second, they have influence, and third, they're from Nigeria, and I want Nigeria co sneaker culture to grow. Also, okay. the the more person is gonna be Rema. Okay. The reason why I'm choosing Rema is because it can control. You, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a female man. Yeah, and the the, the female is gonna be Arista. I Arista. don't know if you know her. Arista, I don't think you know. Arista, you can no, look her up. I don't think I know her. Yeah, you can look because, because you know we have three, we have three major language in Nigeria, right? We have Yoruba, Yibo, and Awusa. Yeah. And I think they speak Awusa in Ghana too. Yeah, yeah, we speak Awusa. Okay, good. So we have three languages, but Rema is Rema is not is not Yibo is not Awusa is not Yoruba. Really? No. Damn, I thought he was Yoruba. He's Bini oh yeah he's from the Benin side right yeah that's and Benin has a very big issue when it comes to artifacts and you know all those stuff like for example you can look up the Benin bronze mm. there's a lot of story that goes through that so that alone you can tell a lot of story with Rema. yeah and i think 
And I think Jordan Brands got their eyes on him right now. So I don't know about that. So the Aris stuff part is because she's a female, she's young, she have she have she have colorful vibe in her. So you can yeah. do a lot of stuff with it, with that too. Sure. You know what I'm saying? And she have influence. So that's the two people I'm going with. I mean, you, you're right. I mean, yeah, that's a good reason too. But I know people from Benin. Benin is is crazy that place. I, I yeah, to, bro. Yeah, I usually look up to like I look it up. And then you know that's they, part of the slave coast yeah, back then. Yeah, so they have a lot of. I mean, my dad, like mostly on Sundays, my dad he been like he yeah he he just on the TV and then put on the CD, yeah, try to show me. And I was like, oh yeah, this is this is what people is going on in Nigeria, bro. This is this is Nigeria, but this is Benin. Benin people, Benin mm -hmm. is always crazy. So mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I know a lot a little bit about Benin that or oh, like they've been going through stuff. So, yeah, I know about that. It's crazy. I mean, yeah, that's a good, yeah, yeah that's a good thing. Like, yeah, bro. So I mean, shit. It, what I'm saying, it can happen. You just, you just have to push it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then, happen. um, yeah. So can you give me? I mean, I know I can't. You were supposed to ask me this question, right? But right. let me ask you first. Okay. Do you know anyone like, like, just all right? So let me give you three choices. Okay. Give me three people that you think they are sneaky head in Africa. Three people. Three people? Yeah. Uh, first like, of all, I'm going to... Let's take all of this, this, this musician is out. Let's talk three about people that are normal people? Yeah. That they are not... Do they have to have influence or... Um. Yeah, they have to have... I mean, just choose any people, like anyone. Man, I have three people. Raman Jago is a sneaker head. Bro! That's what I'm saying, bro. That is, bro. Like a lot of people don't know about him. Yeah, he's a sneakerhead. He's like a sneaker sneakerhead. Like, like, yo, he's crazy. He's a collector. He is. He is really crazy. Him. Yeah, Rama Jago is a sneakerhead. Yeah, bro. So who again? Oh, uh, 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 let me think. I just don't want to pick anybody. I have this one guy too. His name is Lion. He has a store called uh what I'm gonna call it uh drip collection. His personal Instagram is born affiliation, he's a sneaker head too. He's part of the people that are pushing the envelope in Nigeria when it comes to sneaker culture. Yeah, that's what's up. Shout out to him. Shout out to him. He'll be doing live section and all that. Like he'll be doing like mostly Mondays and people be turning up like people yeah no problem just pull me yeah. on you know i'm gonna come yeah I'm yeah sure. yeah oh. people be turning up they just show like five days rotation of sneakers and you know so, you get okay. to know him and the top person that i can say is that uh probably the influence i'll just choose someone that's in the industry zlatan zlatan is also a sneakerhead but it's not like a ib sneakerhead he's just like a regular sneakerhead like just rock whatever he wants you see him working Travis Scott trainers. You see him working like normal sneakers. Yeah. And honorable mention, honorable mention, because I can, I, the list is long, but they don't have a lot of influence. You get me? Like, I want to say, I want to give you people that people can be like, oh, yeah, I know this guy. Yeah. Yeah. So, so um, yeah, there's this one guy in Nigeria that people don't know about him. Um, I'm a guest and I'm a boy, say. You, you know that guy? Ooh. That's so cool, boy. Yeah, he, he, yeah, that's the that's the honorable mention I want to mention. It's so cool, boy. He's a, a sneaker head, bro, a big sneaker head too. Yeah. And then you know what? Like, I ain't gonna lie, when he started, when I started watching him, I thought that nigga rock fixed sneakers. That's what I thought. So I was not counting him as that's a sneaker head, right? I was not counting him. Yeah, he be getting his stuff from Farfetch. Yeah. So that was. <laughs> Bro, like I have him on my on my um on my Snapchat. Bro, that nigga literally be posting his I mean he posts the receipts, he posts everything that yeah, shows he's that stuff from uh, yeah, he's getting original stuff. Yeah. 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 So that's how I started counting him. Yeah, he's a real sneakerhead. He's a real sneakerhead. All right, so Mons is gonna be Bro, he's crazy. Mons is gonna be um I'm gonna choose Ramon Jago for sure. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna choose him. And um, you have this one guy. I know if I say it, people is gonna be like, "But why are you choosing him?" 
because he is this, he is blah, blah. I'm not, I'm not going to choose him because of what he's doing. I'm going to choose him based on what I know, like based okay. on what I've seen, like based on what I've seen, right? His name is Fire Stick. Fire Stick. Fire Stick. Fire Stick. Yeah, that's his name. Fire Where is he from? Ghana? Ghana? Yeah, okay. he's from Ghana, but he's I'm looking right him. now. Yeah, that's his name. His name is Fire Stick. I don't care about how we take his picture. I don't care about his dread. People be saying he's good. Country, boy, I don't care about that. But I'm talking about the fight. This is the fight. That nigga got mass sneakers. That's bro. That's what that's what we're talking about right now. I don't care about the way he dressed. I know people be, people always trying to mock him down the way he dressed and all of that. That's not what I'm saying right now, bro. I'm talking about oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Oh, you fire know sticks is friends with um lion. I see him oh. coming on lions uh life he be doing life too right yeah yeah, yeah i guess so life. i'm gonna follow him yeah. shout out to him yeah, africa so most like influential him. i mean yeah nah he 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 nah he talk for real like he talk you know sometimes he been doing shit from from pains and all of that i understand it that's different but we're talking about sneakers right now yeah so i'm gonna choose him yeah, he's like he, him. he's like a version if bonaboy was a sneakerhead yeah that's the thing so yeah i'm gonna go with him and then let me see man it's crazy so yeah, then he, he, i see his collection it. bro yeah this bro he got my collection like yo this is this is the little this is the little like this is the least that you have you have more than this yeah like you have shit more than this bro. i mean you have a if lot there, of stuff. If there's a I mean, battle like like how how i started realizing him he been doing this um this sneaker um sneaker verse bring people on yeah so like people just be showing yes that's what that's what lion will be doing too the yeah. guy i told you about yeah. yeah so yeah yeah he does that and then one day yeah one day he was doing a verse with this guy swear to god he killed him like he killed that shit for real like he met him that guy that guy was like he was just looking at him like bro i don't think i could do this anymore but he keep pulling up new sneakers like every sneakers that is out this nigga cap it like yeah, every yeah, sneaker yeah, that's gonna yeah, come yeah, out yeah, yeah. No like, cap, like no he cap. just he just he just be keeping sneakers he just be keeping sneakers so yeah i'm gonna choose fire sticky and i'm gonna see um let me see uh i mean and i don't yeah we have one guy too here his name is um damn his name i have someone i want to hide but he's not he's like going back and forth he's he's not in nigeria he's like in new york though big larry you know big larry right big larry no i don't think i know him. big larry is also a sneaker but i mean he's a new york guy he just have like a nigerian i don't really know much about him but i know he's nigerian yeah dc what's what, what's this guy's name um abu kim fire stick his friend the one oh. that yeah pope right yeah 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 that's his name pope yeah okay. oh that so that's, the people, that's the people owning holding it down in ghana right yeah i mean i mean he's here now nah, pope is oh, he's, here he's ghanaian he's here. Okay. yeah yeah he's in the state right now I mean, you know what i'm gonna do i'm right. gonna try my best i'm gonna set up a versus between lion fire stick i'm gonna try to send him a dm like both pope. of them all these people we mentioned i'm gonna try to organize it so we can know who is yeah but let's do that yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah let's do that but but yeah what i know is even pope knows that he can't he can't go with fire stick so when you tell him about fire stick he's gonna be like no bro i don't think i could go for fire stick because fire stick and that is, me, that's i believe i believe in lion i don't think like fire stick i'm going i mean i don't lion. know lion i don't i don't yeah, know just i don't know lion is i'm gonna show you see. I, I don't know who lion is yeah what was what was what's his instagram name born affiliation born affiliation i'm gonna show you yeah just show it to me okay born affiliation he has a store well, like, have a yard, you know, bro. Bro, come on bro he has a store too he's a big time collector bro i'm not even like he be having these live sections yeah that i've been doing too like yeah he's up there he's been holding it down mm. i just show you both of his page yeah 
So I'll see what I can do. I know it's not gonna be easy, but I'm gonna try. Yeah, you see you who got it, who got it the most. Yeah, you saw. Who is gonna is is the number one Africa sneaker head? Oh man, yeah, don't worry, I'm gonna look I'm gonna look it up and see. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna look it up and see. And yeah. his stuff are real too. Like it's not like his stuff are real. Yeah. Very fine. Yeah. yeah, that's what's up. All right, bro. Yeah, I bro, mean, I'm gonna choose, choose Ramon Jago, I'm gonna choose Pope, and then I'm gonna choose Fire State. Right. That was good. That I was wanna good. choose um Isoko Boy too. Yeah, he, he's up there too. He's, he's part of my honorable honorable mention, to yeah. be honest. He be he be, he be killing it. He be killing it. Shout out to all of them because it's not easy yeah. for their name to even you know come up. That means they are doing it, they're doing it big. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure, so, for sure. Yeah, and do you have any more questions for me? Because I don't think I have more question for you. Um let me see. I wanna I wanted to ask you this question. Damn. Any question, bro? Any question? Uh, damn, bro. That's crazy. All right, yeah. So let's talk about um, like buying sneakers and selling sneakers. What do you think about it right now? For me, yeah. right now, I'm off that. Yeah, I won't lie to you like, because I'm on, I'm I'm on break right now because I can't continue doing that. Is is like, I feel right like now. I'm wasting my money right now. Yeah, so I'm gonna share a few clues with you, and I'll just let you pick the one that suits you best, right? Okay, I can work with. I'm I'm gonna give you the experience because I've done it, and I'll tell you the pros and cons, right? So I start off by giving sneakers away. I didn't start off selling sneakers. Mm. yeah because i just be like i'm not wearing these sneakers i would just show the box and ask people like if you know what sneaker this is i'm just send it your way so the first person that comment i just ask for their name and address and send it mm. you know and of that i start you know people start eating me up from nigeria that oh they can't they don't trust the sauce in nigeria is fake and all that can i help them buy sneakers so I, I turned to a personal shopper, right? So I was shopping for people buying sneakers. Off of that, I started selling stuff on GOAT. Okay. Like any sneakers that I eat double on, yeah. I would just say the other pair and all that. Mm -hmm. And off of that, now getting to know Lion and all that, I said, that, oh, the sneaker culture in Africa is crazy also. Yeah. You know, so now the best thing is you are in new york you have more advantage because new york always have it yeah. always have the drops unlike baltimore like mm -hmm. they don't love us here when it comes to sneaker culture they don't give us drops so the best thing is to go clearance store if you know any nike clearance yeah and that's your best bet yeah you go to yeah. clearance store you can my get boy, you can get selling me one on one on um just any state that you know that have clearance store when it comes to nike yeah just take your time pull up go in the store check their prices i'm going to send you the app that you're going to use to check everything i have the app on my phone okay you know i'm going to share everything with you that's the best best bet or the second option that i can say if you have people in Nigeria or Ghana that are into sneakers that want to buy sneakers, you can help them buy it and send it. You just have to charge them your home fee. You know what I'm saying? But if you don't want to, if you don't want to have issues, because they can say, "Oh, buy these sneakers," and tomorrow once you buy the sneakers, they can change their mind that, "Oh, they want a refund." Yeah. You know our people, right? So if you don't want to go through that stress, your best bet is to use the Goat app. Okay. To flip your stuff like you say you have a lot of shoes you want to sell right now mm. the best thing about go app is you can consign with them like even though the shoe haven't sold yet you can just ship it to them and whenever they sell it they, they're gonna they give credit you. to your money yeah and the best bet to sell sneaker also is to go to conventions like sneaker con go so you have like a lot of sneakers that you just want to you know size down you can take everything that's the thing when you go there bro they don't give you the they give you price. trashy price but you that's have to that's the problem like 
you have to use all these options for you to you know have more advantage first you already list the shoes on alice right on gold app now you're going to the convention so if they give you trashy price you have something else to fall back on that oh i already list these shoes on i mean alice. yeah and then i do this too um i put i put my sneakers on ebay yeah, eBay is good too. I've been selling sneakers on eBay. I sell sneakers on on, on Gold too. Yeah, shout out to my boy. He put me on DC. Yo, yeah, come on, bro. eBay is good too. Yeah, I'm yeah, trying eBay, to you, my boy. eBay is good too, but I would advise you to invest on early pairs too, though, since you have your gang with you. Both of, all of you can do and invest on early pairs. Come on, bro. Come show your face. Yeah, let me see DC. Yeah, that's DC. <laughs> Yeah, he was. Yeah, he is the guy that we started everything together. Since we was a kid. Come on, bro. Come show your face. I mean, yeah, he's a little shy. Yo, his camera is shy. Yeah, yeah, I feel him. I mean, I'm planning to come to New York, so either I'll way, be, don't worry, yeah. don't worry. We're gonna yeah. we're gonna link you for we're sure. Gonna link up. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're gonna link, way, up. We're gonna link up. We're so gonna link what you talk, what you just said is is right, but this is the thing when you want to do something like this you got to have a lot of friends you exactly. got to be into people i see no reason not to share whatever i know so yeah, yeah. Like, right right like this yeah this is how this is how like we have to put ourselves on and then yeah shout out to rama and jago when he came to new york i went i went out there and then i met him i was telling him about the brand oh like nah he talked for you like it's hard because when I met him, bro, when we went, like, I ain't gonna lie, we had a fashion show, right? And then when we got there, all of my, all of my, my, my focus and everything was on him. I'm trying to, trying to see him talk to you him. You know, the crazy part is supposed to pull up, but I just have something I was doing up here. I supposed to pull up. Yeah, yeah, that day was crazy yeah. for you. So when we got there, I told him about the brand. And then he like, bro, you got, like, you got any pieces in it? And I'm like, damn, I love these pieces. And then we, bro, like at that time, we don't have we don't have the product yet. We have the samples. So when he told me that, I was I was like, bro, I forgot. Like that was <laughs> the time, bro. It's crazy. I, the person you came for, like the person you got your eyes on, asked for your pieces, and you don't have nothing to show. Yeah, and I'm like, damn, bro, like I messed up for real. And then yeah, when he told did. me that, I I thought about, I was like, bro, let me just come home and then come grab it and then go back. Well, that yeah. time was too late because I know yeah, yeah. the time that I'm gonna be back, he will have leave. So he was like, "Bro, that that's a mistake." Yep. You told me about entirely flex, right? And then you show me, you show me, you show me entirely flex and everything. So what is the proof? Like, just show me something. I'm trying to mm -hmm. see something. So here I am. I'm quiet. Physical what product. Is Where is the product? I'm quiet. Damn. I'm like, man, man, I made a mistake, bro. And then he was like, bro, don't do that next time. Yep. And yeah. then I'm like, all right, thank you for the for the advice and everything. I respect that. And then so yeah, we have we have we have pictures. And then I told him that I'm gonna post it on 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 entire flex so he could you know put it out for us. He was like, no problem. Yeah, and then he did that. I posted it, posted the picture, I shared, I shared it to him, like I mentioned him. And he, he, man, he shared it on his story. Like, yeah, he's, a like, real, he's a real one. He's a yeah. real one, bro. Yeah. So these are, these are the type of people that, that they always want to hold people down. He, I mean, Raman Jago has his own thing. He has his own high fashion. You know, I yeah. told him about something. But when I told him about, he like, bro, you young and then you doing this. And then, yeah, he told me that he said, he said, he said, he likes the way I pull up on him. Because a lot of people was just looking on him like, and I'm like, bro, we're in the same section with him. This is him. This is Jago. This is me. I, I like, why can't I talk to Jago? Let me just talk to Jago about the brand. This is my brand. So if I can't talk to Jago about my brand, then I'm just going home. And I knew mm -hmm. that I came there because of him. Right? Like, I, I came there because of him. And I'm like, damn, bro. So I'm the best, the him. best way, the best way to, I won't even lie to you. The best way is just keep doing your thing. I won't lie to you. Whenever I pull up yeah. again, yeah america that's another chance then you're gonna be like right. this right, is my well, product because yeah, i don't like to you he has over yeah, he has over i'm trying to yeah, i'm trying to yeah i'm trying to have some pieces bro i'm gonna i'm gonna give you a bomb now 
he has over one million followers, right? Yeah. DMs coming in every day. I'm supposed to I'm supposed like to share something with him. Yeah. I'm probably sure he hasn't seen the DM yet because yeah. I, I DM'd him is something very important, you know. Yeah. So the best thing is to have his personal contact yeah. and see him in, in person. That's your best bet. I mean, yeah, yeah. That was that was crazy at that time. You know, he was he was busy that day, so I couldn't like we couldn't talk much. But he told me he told me to um to you know test him on Instagram. He probably yeah, you can you can even go to bro, you can go bro if you got time you have enough money go to nigeria ghana promote your shit yeah oh, i can't cause a I mean, podcast promote I mean, your I mean, stuff i mean yeah yeah so this is the thing right like we we, we are on the real shit right now so we trying to get things better and then yeah like i'm trying to bro i know in the future inshallah I ha- i'm gonna have to like view entire flags like the whole crew We'll have to go to nigeria bro like that's yeah. the real shit nigeria and ghana is the real shit yeah that's the two places yep like and you, and, there, but i want to advise you to stay there if you have enough budget after leaving nigeria or ghana you go to togo you go to gabon you go to Ga- you, everywhere, go, right? you go that's everywhere that you can go in africa bro because i won't lie to you like i said we have that influence bro yeah Sure. we have that influence like people keep looking like oh america i won't lie to you america is up there but africa have that power too the the, yeah. the thing is we just have to come together bro we we have the mass yeah we have, and then you know, we have we have we have the idea of yeah we out. have the mass and we don't have problem with anybody we can if you are white cool you're welcome you asian you you're white, welcome you latino yeah. you're welcome you get what Absolutely. i'm saying yeah, everybody we don't we, we 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 don't get keep our culture bro we don't get keep our culture we share with everybody yeah we share with everybody so that's if you go to tokyo right now bro <laughs> I, i don't like tokyo i love their culture so much yeah. but they get keep their culture i won't lie to you yeah. there's a lot of stuff that happened there that you don't even know of. you have to be in tokyo to know about it yeah. so nah, you're right you're right yeah 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 we want to go there because we're planning on going to yeah man we have a lot of plans right now and then yeah bro i believe i believe in how we started and then man i uh, believe we haven't we have a good reviews from people like good review from people that we don't even know like yeah like we we reaching people out and then people's reaching us out so bro you know, for, the, for the fact that you, you have uh nigerian blood and you were born in ghana rp to virgil if virgil was still alive we probably would have post your shit bro you know yeah. like i ain't gonna lie bro like like i always think about it i'm like bro like, like why like how? <laughs> you know what i mean like how why bro, bro, bro i'm gonna to you bro most of this stuff that i do i yeah. have i didn't meet him in person right but it's true virgil bro this dude be posting on instagram 24 hours yeah. his stories nah. his posts and he's keep he, he kept sharing stuff he don't care yeah you get what i'm saying yeah and not just Virgil, that yeah, he Virgil kept progressing working with chromat working with louis vuitton working with travis scott he's working with everybody he don't care everybody bro anybody yeah. that knocks his Shout door out. Yeah, you're glad you welcome Very shout well out to him bro i happy to him that was, is a rare What's is rare person? is rare bro veggie was that person for you like, and he did a like, lot bro he, he's gonna post rama he's gonna post drew uh uk artist he's gonna post africa artist he's gonna thing. go to he ghana he don't care he posts everyone he, he posts everybody he see you that you're doing he's, something he's, that he he just posts to you yeah he just him, bro and people yeah. like that are rare bro you know what i'm talking about people like that are rare extremely yeah. rare bro nah it's crazy like yeah like it's crazy how they always say the good people die early and leave the bad ones right yeah the good ones always always die early than the bad ones the bad ones say oh bro <laughs> I, I, i don't know if you know this scenario right when he was alive you know he got a lot of backlash right yeah you know about the black backlash yeah i heard of that it's crazy I mean, that's when he, like it's, it's like crazy, you're, you're, like it's crazy when he died you can't love, change you can't change how someone thinks 
And no, no, no. Then, Do you know the backlash I'm talking about? It's about not Black easy. Lives Matter, right? Oh, now yeah. Edge knew he knew he knew what he was up to. He knew what he yeah. was doing for him. Because this, the, back... the, the whole thing, yeah, Black Lives Matter right. thing, and everything, he knows what they were. So yeah, I mean, he knows. He knows better. Yeah, yeah he knows better. Yeah, I repeat to him because yeah, that, that, that's my icon for real. I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> Now nah, V2. That was my, that was yeah, before 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 we started this grind, yeah, we went through his his videos. Like we went through his other like, yeah, he got a lot of a videos free video he, about, he put on the internet. Yeah, he have he have a lot of videos about how to start a brand and everything. Yeah, yeah, he did that before he passed yeah, away. Yeah, he did that video and then you know we went we went we went through that and then you know, like a lot of his advice that he gives to use it, like most of his videos. And everything you know we're trying to put it in in the work what you i mean he usually talk about creating a good content he don't play with that he always say create a good content post it out you don't know who is going to see your shape so let yep. me tell you this let me surprise you right um tj omari mm -hmm. I, I don't know if i pronounce it well TJ Omari, yeah, yeah. yeah so i mentioned him once on my story and then he came on my story he watched everything like he watched everything i posted and then that day i posted my clothes i posted the brand and everything he watched everything so that was how i thought i thought about you don't know who's watching you that's the thing you don't know who's watching you so just keep on doing your work keep putting in the work you don't know where and then how someone is going to find you true just keep up doing it because at the end of the day we are all humans and yeah, we can relate to each other. You yeah. get me? We are all yeah. humans. You can sure. have that statue, but at the end of the day, you're still human. You blow, you, you have blood in you. you have blood. Bleed. So so when he watched my story, I'm like, bro, them, them people is watching. Like he he have he have a lot of people around him, but he wanna know people outside. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like and that's what Vedri is about. Vedri is gonna recruit someone on Instagram, bro. Yeah, people, people <laughs> Bro, he recruited someone from um. Let me see, someone from um like from this country that people don't even know about. Yeah, and he put him on. Yeah, and he spoke. Yeah, he did that. Like he put a lot of a lot of people on. Yeah, he put people. he put free the youth on. No they one knew about free the youth. Like people mm -hmm. was talking it. Yeah, but Veggie was the one that put them on. And it's then it's not well, just it's not just that brand. A lot like it's crazy. He put a lot of people that he hasn't even seen person on. People you don't even know. Yeah. So that's that's the power of internet, bro. And that's nah, that's that's, why I'm, that, that's yeah. that that that's the main reason I set up this podcast because I yeah. never know who I'm gonna talk to. Yeah. Like see the what we're sharing right now on a regular day, we don't have that time to share that stuff. Yeah. But now yeah. we're right. digging in deep. So yeah. right, that's yeah. how it is. How bro. Start. Oh, yeah. This is how everything started. And then now, before you see, boom, boom, yeah, some way, boom, bro. Yeah, bro. I, I, yeah. I used to be, I used to be an introvert. I used to be very camera shy. So yeah. I started off on Instagram, going live. I mean, me too. I let everything I die, bro. Like I was like, yeah, yeah. if you're introvert in this country, you're gonna, you won't be creative, bro. Yeah, yeah, you'll be crazy. You bro. have to push your boundaries. You have to push yeah. the limit. Like, like yeah, and that's yeah. it. You have to make new friends. So this is the yeah. thing. I, I i was i was i was really outside of, um, on march like this march like this 2023 march i was really outside i went to a lot of fashion shows and i met a lot of people i met these people that don't even know me i met people from this institution um like school of fashion and arts and everything i met these white people i met black people i talk with them and anytime i tell them about a brand and tell them the story about a the brand they're like Bro, so why why does your community have people like you and then they're trying to waste you like that? Like people, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, at yeah, this like point, you, bro, yeah, at this crazy. point, I gave. And then I when gave, they told me that, I'm like, so since I, that time, a lot of them, a lot of them, when they got projects going on, they call me, yo, bro, we have this, this, this going on. You want to come help us? You want to come see, or if you want to show you something? Bro, I don't go to, I don't, I don't go to. I've never been to no school of fashion before. Never Same been here. to something like that. But I was about to ask you that. If they have something, they call me, bro. Oh, you know how to do this? Like, yo, you have an idea about something? You know, they call me. If I have something, I'll tell them. If if I if I don't really know better, 
I have my mans. I have my That's my question. senior designer. That's question. I asked him. His name is Akimi. I asked him, yo, bro. Oh, what's someone up? just what's called up? me about, this, go about this. You know, so that's how I learned a lot from them. And then they don't know. Anytime that I'm talking to them, I pick one or two things from them. So there was a time that I was telling one of my friends. So I'm like, like that's where we met. We met in well, yeah, we met at a fashion sh uh, a fashion show, and then we became friends. So I was telling him that oh, I learned this, this, this from. And he like, bro, I told whatever I said, you just laughing and then say nothing, you just let it go. I'm like, no, I put it in. Like anything that you tell me, I put it in. I keep it here. Like, if you want to be a designer, if you want to design something, anything that you see, anything that you hear people say, just put don't it let in. It, don't let it slide. If you don't use it today, you don't use it. You're probably going to use it in the future. Future, yep. Nothing is, not is a waste. So, and then I... I, I want to say this, right? I want to say this, and I don't know if people is going to disagree with me. Africans are blessed. Of course. We have, we don't go to no school of fashion. We don't go to no school of, of fashion and art or something. Nope. But we have it. We have that thing in us. That's the thing. Yeah, we have, they call it, they call it ginger. We have that ginger. <laughs> we, have, we have, we have that, um, that, um, <laughs> That I don't. That's, that's I don't who we are. You know you where don't, it's like from? we don't we don't they do for a long time. <laughs> you know where it's yeah, you know I mean? like, from, from, from it start from from way back when we used to have <laughs> orbs, when we used to have artifacts, we used to have all these uh stuff that we worship, like we are creative oh. beings. Yeah, that's the thing. So so yeah, like I've been going to um like museums here. I see this small along Kekere. I say along Kekere. Along Kekere, when we say me, I did Nigeria or I did Ghana, I go use my hand. Create along Kekere myself. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I've been seeing that type of that like that type of thing. I be like, bro, I go create this myself. Yeah, like, bro. I don't. But here, it's something. It's something else, bro. When we home, we use we like we usually use this type of um like this this kind like like milk con. We use that as a car. Anything bro, that we I see, did everything, we just bro. Always want to create. Just, we are creative, bro, and that was what that was what translate tra transcend in our music too. That's what I'm saying. So people are sleeping on Africans, yeah, and then like even we, our communities are sleeping, sleeping on, on our peoples. That's, yeah, that's because we don't support like that. We'd be like, yeah, we want to hear hip hop. We want to hear what's up, man. You know, right. back there. <laughs> okay, so do you think how many how many people from here do you think they listen to Afro Afro beats? All they listen to is. You don't cast last, last, and then if I tell you, shall that's that's what they know. They don't, they don't, they don't really follow follow the well, alphabet. Yeah, the it's, alphabet. It's what is up there. I get what so, you're saying. So that's the thing. Our people don't want to. We, we we always want to hold other people down. We don't we don't want to keep ours. Yeah, but the problem is we are not doing enough job to educate these peoples. You see, when you see when a, a, a white man, they do enough job to educate us about their culture, about their history. Yeah. They like they come to our country. They go to different places. They explore to educate people about their own stuff, yeah. right? Yeah. But us, we don't do that. We are very shy. We are very scared. Yeah. You know, we be so, thinking. So yeah, that's the thing. What 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 you scared of? You scared exactly. of the watching. Exactly, because you need the to know that. Travel, you need to know that. Always travel from overseas and come to your country. Bro, to come then. You I want. didn't experience this, but yeah, my friends. I didn't experience this, but my friend that went to school up here, they'd be like, back then, they used to call them booty scratchers. Like, they used to call them different names, you know, so they don't let them have pride in their culture. So they were unable to, you know, they were unable to, like, share the culture. But now, Africa is the new flex. African yeah. music is the new flex. So all eyes on Africa right now. All eyes on the music. So all eyes on Africa right now. All <laughs> and then yeah, we working, bro. We are not sleeping, bro. I'm working. I don't know for all the friends, I don't know for all the people, but in that place is working right now, bro. Definitely, eyes off us, eyes on us. We always working. That is what people don't know. You pay attention to us, we still working. You don't pay attention to us, we still working. But we going hard on this shit, bro. That's what we, yeah. Yeah, bro. Like we are really going hard. Our artists. Once I pull up in New York, don't worry. We're gonna talk more better, you know. And I, right. I appreciate you doing this podcast with me. I, I I gain some, you know, some new stuff. Nah, I get, you know, 
I need yeah, I, I and get, then, I, and then you have you have this this thing that you used to do, bro. Just I want you to pull me on. How do you get sneakers so cheap? <laughs> bro, like, yeah, I usually see your stories, <laughs> and then I'll be like, bro, you gotta pull me on, like for real. How do you yes, get sneakers first, so cheap? My, I'm, I'm gonna tell you the, how I get it right first. My size is size. All right, so guys, everyone, this is a free game. Don't let it go. <laughs> <laughs> this is a free game, don't let it okay. go. So what people don't know is most of this brand, once yeah. they pull out a shoe and it doesn't sell out, their next bet is to go to this secondary uh uh Sorry, how would I call it? Yeah, to to, yeah. to 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 put it on. So if you put a bead on it, they want to make it go fast, so they just accept the bead. It might take seven days, it might take six, three days, but a lot of people don't have that patience, they just want to buy stuff instantly, right? Yeah, but maybe. if you put a bead on it. It might take like it might take few days. They go eventually. They're oh, gonna send me. Bro, you right, you right. Because <laughs> I bought yeah, like I bought I bought these niggas. So this when these niggas came on, what was the niggas name? Um, I think it was ones the undefeated, the the blue. Yeah, and yeah. The I and know, the, I know the shoe you're talking yeah, about. The yeah, undefeated Air Force ones. Yeah, that Air Force ones. I wanted to get that sneakers and it was so expensive. And I'm like, no, I ain't getting it that expensive. So I, I used my goat and I bid it. I bid it. It took like it took probably like something like five days. And then I have it. I had that shit for like 80 something, I think $90 or something. Exactly. Cause and it was new. new yeah, it's new. Because a lot of these stores, a lot of these stores want new inventories. So they'll have to get rid of the old ones. Mm -hmm. They can't just trash it. No. What they used to book, do back then is take it to Burlington, take it to Ross, right? Mm -hmm. But now, if it's like a collab shoe, they don't want to make the brand look bad. So right. they don't put it there. They just put it on gold and stockers. Yeah. Whoever get it, get it. So you, you can bid for it and you get it. You just have to be patient and you have to know the shoe you're looking for. I mean, yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. I'm a, yeah, I, I will have to start doing it because I never thought that's that's the way you've been getting your sneakers for so long. That's the way, bro. I, bro, because me, I'm not like an eye beast. I guess you I love. So I learned the hard way. I, I love these uh, Adidas ZX, the ZX2000. So it used to retail for like, I think 170 or 180. And I noticed whenever they drop, just a few days, the shoe wow. is. This shoe go for like below retail and hundred. I was like, nah, I'm not paying full price for any shoe. I want to get again, so I just let them drop. Go to the go app, put in my bid. Within days, I get that stuff. You get it back. Yeah. Nah, nah, that's what's up. Yeah, I use I use my my Nike app. That's the sneaker app. That's how the I sneaker use app. a lot of my sneakers. And yeah, the sneaker up. app. Uh, yeah, the, the, the price is a fixed price. Yeah, it's crazy. Fixed price. They don't discount yeah. nothing. Yeah, they sneaker app don't. App don't so yeah, if you want to do that, if you want to get like a new release, that's how I usually get my new release. And I will advise you to go, you know, District 1 District in New York is like a sneaker store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can get good deals off there too because a lot of people go there and sell shoes. So before someone enters the store, you can be like, oh, what, what do you got on? You can, you know, if they fuck with you, if they rock with your price, you get what you, it might be the shoe you would want. Yeah. It's just being the being like the right place at the right time. Or how did nah. I say? Nah, nah, you yeah, right. If you don't want to go through that struggle, your best bet is goats. I want to advise you to use stockers though. Cause yeah. I, love yeah, I don't like stockers, bro. Yeah, I'm mistakenly bought. I'm mistakenly bought bought these sneakers on stockers. I don't like. I don't even know. Like I was just looking at these sneakers and then boom, they they're like, oh, your 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 pocket has been. Yeah. I'm like, bro, I ain't, I ain't never say I want to buy these sneakers. Yeah, so I will advise you to use goat more because goat, like, I don't, I don't, I, I, I will tell you that off the camera. I don't want to promote because nobody is sponsoring my podcast, so mm -hmm. I don't want to promote anybody. So yeah, I'll just advise you to use the goat app. All right. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. So do you got more question for me? Um, yeah, that's it. That's it. I mean, once oh, I don't you know, worry, you no, know, we still we still gonna see each other, and yeah. then yeah, and then let them know, let them know that we are coming, right? Yeah, bro. Don't before remember, we go. I mean, don't forget that we have some projects that we have it in the book. Yeah, we do, bro. Oh, yeah, got you for real. 
Yeah, yeah I got you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. And I appreciate that know, too. I appreciate you know, the love and Before we wrap it up, let people know where they can follow you. TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, email, anything you want to put down. Just let them know. Yeah. Um, name. So my name, my 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 Instagram name is Big Boy One A. I mean, that's 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 the same that's, name I just put on right now. The name is Big Boy, like the same B I G B O Y one A. So you can put just put that Big Boy One A on Instagram. You can follow me up, and then I have my brand. The brand name is Entitled Flex. Yeah, this yeah that's what I'm working right now. So you can follow Entitled Flex on. You know you have to keep the community going. Going. And I have my own share that I usually do my. I usually do my my jeans and I, I know you probably see my jeans. Yeah, you, you yeah, custom. Like that's my, yeah. yeah, the custom shit. That's my personal shit that I do. So that one too is this um is Artist War. Okay. I know that name is scary. At is war. scary. At is war. At is war. Yeah. So that name is not scary, bro. That, so people war. be like, bro, why are you using war? In your name, I'm like it doesn't matter. It's fashion is everything. Like fashion, you, you can everything. express anything you want with fashion. So yeah, so the name is Artist War. You know, I usually put myself on, and then yeah, in Tidal Flex, we have we have a lot of things that we're working on right now. We got two cups. We have these hoodies, and then we have we have a little we have some t-shirts and some shows that we're working on. I know probably inshallah we're gonna put it outside for people to see and for people to buy it. But the thing is. Our shit runs quick. So if you want to cap it, if you see it, if you know that you in the Bronx or you in New York or something, just test us. Just let us know. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get this. My boy is here. My boy is here. He's, he's just going to bring it for you within one to two days. If you want to ship it up, we could ship it up to you too. So it's all up to you. But mm -hmm. our thing runs crazy. Okay. Right, I, I'm, I'm, really, I'm feeling... I'm feeling that woody right now, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. Well, I'm feeling that woody. I ain't even gonna lie. But yeah, yeah bro. Who whoever sees this woody be like, nah, this is this is some hard shit. Well, when you think about it, yeah, that's that, that's how we always say you gotta think out of the box. Exactly. How many people do you see having um tying that hoodie? That's the thing. How many people? Is, 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 there's not much like that yep this color is not regular color i ain't gonna lie never seen a hoodie with this color before hmm. i'm not trying to brag or something oh whoever see whoever whoever have a feeling on this but to be honest with you bro that hoodie right there that's great like if travis scott can get his honor that hoodie right there that's hmm. travis scott style bro i ain't yeah. gonna lie color and everything the like everything bro everything yeah. well yeah i appreciate you doing this with well, me i'm about you know this is like over an hour, hour 20 so minutes, this right? is a dope this is a dope this is a dope one this is a dope one you know yeah, and, the, you the, and everything yeah my first the first episode is going to debut uh july 16 and from there it's going to be a weekly stuff so all eventually right. i'm going to edit all this stuff and you're going to you know keep your eye out for this all right no uh, i appreciate you and see you soon my bro keep Thank keep you, bro. killing it keep killing it you too keep killing it bro yeah, let's <laughs> yeah. get it together all right safe bro all right thank you bro you too sure